All right, so just got the boat dumped in the water. Um, I meant to tell you earlier, so this is probably gonna be a short video. I don't have any good rain equipment for my cameras. Um, and I buy all my cameras out of my own pocket. So if this starts raining, we ain't recording anything else. Um, but initially, this place looks freaking awesome. It looks just like Lake Conway that I grew up on um, there in central Arkansas. So boat's dumped in the water. Just gonna go get rigged up. It's already sprinkling. Awesome. Um, hopefully find a few fish early. Let's get it. Yo. Oh, out fishing. Uh, Lake Conway, kind of. Dardanelle, Lake Conway. Stumpy, Lily Patty. Alright, guys, so there's a bunch of boats around, but I just pulled up here in these flat pads on a little sand flat. And I've seen like a four pounder and like a two pounder just fish seems like there's quite a few fish up in here so I'm gonna try to they seem spooky though so I'm gonna try dragging a stick worm around all right guys I'll show you all how I'm gonna rig this just have one of these little plastic weights just run the line through the nose that doesn't actually that doesn't actually have any weight on it all it does is just help all it does is just help it come through these pads. I mean, I, I mean, there's a ton of boats around me, so I figure this stuff gets hammered. So I'm just going to drag a little bruiser stick worm around. The water's like 70 degrees, so I don't know. I still don't know if they're pre-spawn, post-spawn. I'm assuming there's some of both. Um, but I have seen a few empty beds so far this morning. All right, so because we have to screw that weight in here, We'll take it just a little, we'll get a little more meat. Like that. Still essentially throwing a weightless stick worm. Grew her in like that. There we go, let's go catch one. I know it sucks to see a friend like, oh, there's one. Hold on. I just hooked one. All right, guys, so just came in this first little area, started casting around the grass isn't what I thought it was going to be. But I got up in some pads and saw like a four pounder swimming around, like a two pounder. Everybody else just going through with a frog, so I picked up a little stick worm pegged with like a little I ended up, I started weightless but then I had to peg it with like a little 16 pounds weight and uh, I was talking on the phone and shook one off I don't know how big it was like probably just a two pounder I'll say two pounder so, nothing big but hey it's always about just putting that puzzle together getting those first few bites Mega quick release. You know, I'm really on this first day. I'm really just trying to figure out kind of the lay of it. Um, had so I've had two bites. It's about 11 o'clock. Hadn't been a good day, um, but you know, I'm seeing a lot. It definitely it's different how it how it uh, lays as far as with you know you get out of the you get out of the channel and it's it's pretty shallow and they're not really doesn't seem like they necessarily spawn up on like the bank um, it, it seems and even you know doing research before I come down here it sounds like a lot of them spawn just out on these flats like I'm out here a decent ways off the bank you know 100 yards or so and uh, you'll see beds out on these sand flats and stuff and so I think um, I may have to focus more of my efforts out there a little more what you consider offshore just on those sand flats trying to drag something around wind something around things like that i'm way up to spring creek right now so i just really wanted to see just kind of figuring my way around just wanted to see what was up here i don't really like it i had that one little bitty bite right over there but uh i'm thinking i'm probably gonna have to kind of regroup um the water's a lot clearer than i expected to a lot clearer than what I expected. I didn't, I expected it was gonna be like 
kind of that normal dark black Florida water, and that it's not that. It's just clear. No tannic black to it at all. So maybe it's different in other creeks, but right here in Spring Creek, right now, it's pretty clear. Well, guys, that is uh, all for me today. I know <clears throat> it wasn't much of a day one for y'all to watch, but I feel pretty horrid <laughs> right now. So I got off the water. It's about 4.30. Uh, ended up having a few bites, but I'm going to go get some medicine and uh, let this weather come in. It looks like it's getting pretty nasty. Um, about an hour away from us. I don't know if there's tornadoes in it or what exactly the deal is, but... Uh, Anyways, had like three or four bites today. Overall, everyone, I mean, it sounds like it's just tough out there, so. We'll uh, hopefully getting better earlier tonight. You feeling a little better? Go after tomorrow and see what um, can't figure out. I kind of think that, so Spring Creek, honestly, was a lot clearer. I was talking about that earlier. It's a lot clearer than what I expected. So I think I'm gonna run up Chattahoochee tomorrow, which is the western arm, the western side of the river. Run up that. Um, it should be muddier is what I hear. And hopefully, maybe they're not so far along in the spawn, there's some still spawning, or at least the muddy water is what we're thinking. will at least hold them closer to cover to where you can actually get a bait around them. <clears throat> or like right now in Spring Creek, and a lot of those, the water's so clear that they have their stumps and stuff, but like I threw a spinnerbait down beside some stumps today and you could see it coming back. I mean, all the way back to the boat. The whole cast I could see it. I mean, it's gin clear in there. So we'll see, uh, change it up a little bit and hopefully get on just a little bit of something. So hopefully we don't get blown away in tornado tonight. We'll see, later guys. Uh, Calhoun County moving in an eastward direction towards Liberty County. Now we did also just get- It's pretty serious. All right guys, we out here, day two, practice. And as you can see, it's a little bit colder. We all bundled up this morning. We had storms come through last night. Um, I do feel better. I don't sound any better, but I feel better. Uh, today, I think our whole crew's running right up Chattahoochee. Uh, go see if we can, <clears throat> go see if we can uh, get on something, maybe in a little muddier water. So, should be fun. At least I hope it's fun. You always start out the morning optimistic, but Sometimes by the afternoon it gets a little rough. So go up there, find some mud, hopefully fit. You know, when it's tough like this, I always like to, uh, always like to try to find something that you're familiar with. Something like, you know, I, I live on the Arkansas River, so because it's tough, I, I like to go find something that I, like I'm more familiar with fishing. And so the Chattahoochee to me looks like that. It's uh, shallow, muddy, uh, probably some wood I'm hoping. Um, so we'll see, we'll have fun. Fix and head out, later guys. All right, guys, sorry. I didn't have the camera going this morning. It long run, and anyways, my forgot my charging cord, um, but just caught, not a big one, but chunker flipping some reed heads down through here. Cold this morning, too. So I'll get the camera going, hoping you, hopefully you can see some more fish catches later. All right, guys, so it's day two, and uh, came with the Chattahoochee, like I said, I was gonna do, get up here in some muddier water. Not that muddy, but it does have a little color to it. And uh, obviously, I like to catch them on moving baits in practice. You know, to search baits, but water temperature dropped about five degrees last night. So, uh, it's cold for the in. So, I opted with a stick worm, just drag it around. And I just caught that one. Showed you. Sorry, y'all didn't see that actual fish catch, but it was so cold, I forgot my charger to my GoPro batteries, or my <clears throat> my thing that I hooked my camera up to, so I can run it all day, so I only have four batteries for my GoPro, and once it goes dead, I have to hook it up to main power, anyways, so I forgot that, so I gotta kinda conserve battery, I only have enough battery for, to give it to about one, two o'clock every day, so maybe I can get another one real quick, but all I'm doing is just flipping down this grass line and I did notice that fish I just caught I was on the phone with my wife and uh, when I went to I pitched in somewhere 
and I went to put my phone up and so it had been sitting there for a while. If I had to guess, that would mean that fish had happened to put it on one's bed and uh, picked it up. So it might be a deal. Kind of need to just dead stick it up, drag it into a bed and let it sit there. So I really have no clue what happened here. Everything was in fast forward, but long story short, I caught a good one punching some hyacinth. All right, so like I said, I uh, spent quite a bit of time, <coughs> quite a bit of time in that backwater uh, where I caught that decent fish, trying to see if that was going to be a deal or not, and apparently it wasn't because I fished a lot of it, never had another bite. Been running more backwater up here, and it just, I don't know, it's, I think you might be able to catch some fish, but it's just these, like this type of reeds or grass, whatever you want to call it, and nothing in front of it. So before I head back down river, I'm going to uh, fish just some turns in the river bank and stuff and just see if I can catch a couple bites. I don't think it's gonna be the deal, but a lot of the fish that I've been catching are post-spawn. And so back home at least, when they, uh, when they get done spawning, they'll move out on the river. Um, it doesn't feel like the right thing to be doing, but got to check everything so see what we can do keep plugging away that's the game just keep fishing keep casting try to put something together so this stuff sucked i kept trying to get back into backwaters and stuff and that hurricane just absolutely destroyed everything you start in one and then get blocked off by a tree that was blown over Chattahoochee just sucks, or at least right now it does. I'm just not feeling it. I am fixing to uh, just re rig a few things, and honestly, I think I'm gonna head back over towards that. I think it's like fish drain or fish pond drain or something like that in the spring. I feel like that's where it's gonna go down at. Um, so, eat lunch, retie, re rig a few things, and then head on over there. So I just put spot lock on, cast out the back with a Carolina rig, and they're made to the bottom. I don't know how big it is. Might not even be a deck. I'm officially out of GoPro battery, but I made a little move that I was talking about. We found this one. Well, that's it for uh, day two for me. Went ahead and got off the water. I've been absolutely freezing to death today. <coughs> I just thought I had enough clothes on and it uh, turned out I didn't. So, better day. I um, think I got more of an idea. I, I, I gotta figure something out with the GoPro. Um, I will take my charger cable tomorrow. I try. I like to wear the little like chest mount though because I know people like to like that angle better but it just didn't work and when it's cold like this it it just sucks the batteries down like crazy so uh, I'll try to get things going because today literally after uh, it was like I would it would turn off and I'd catch a fish um, at one point I pulled up on a point had it on threw out the back hooked the biggest one of the day it was like a, I don't know five six pounder and look down at the GoPro and it's off it, it was just that kind of day so either, either way um, I think starting slowly to piece something together obviously I wish I was further along and knowing what I needed to do but it seems like the better fish are offshore um, I'm not real sure how you can catch them yet the few bites I had were on a Carolina rig just pulling a uh, <clears throat> watermelon candy stickworm on a Carolina rig on the outside edge of grass in like 10 12 
foot of water. Some places like 14, 15 foot of water. Um, but that seems to be kind of what, where the better bites and the more consistent bites are, which should only get better or at least should be more consistent. That offshore deeper bite should stay more consistent than going up on the bank, beating the bank, flipping pads and doing all that. So who knows? We'll see in the end, but I am headed home right now. Freaking warm up, take a hot shower, get some dinner, go to bed early, get back after it again tomorrow, put it all together. Get ready to go get them on Thursday. Later. Well, it's day three now. And so far, I really don't have much uh, going on as far as pattern. You catch one, it seems like that's kind of the general consensus right now. You'll catch one here, you'll catch one there. But uh, overall, it's pretty tough. So, like I said, I'm still down here in Spring Creek. Uh, I feel like it's going to go down down here. I don't know some of me, but this is where guys are going to catch them uh, 100%, I, I feel like. So today, going out focusing more on the flats and stuff. I'll show you all what I'm talking about. So I'm going to talk about flats, all this stuff. So you see the main channel, we're fishing. You know, obviously they spawn back in here. And so we're fishing these flats. All this type of stuff has grass in it. So, I'm gonna go today. I really hadn't fished it a ton, just, you know, doing that fan cast and see what, kind of the problem is, is Navionics doesn't have a lot of contours on it. So you have to just put the time in, winding around until you find those little ditches and drains and everything. So, got a lot of work to do. Gonna go get it done. Later. A little uh, midday update for you, day three. So, started out on the flats this morning. Like I said, I was going to, um, I got quite a few bites actually, just dragging, the, actually dragging the same type of worm I was dragging at Toho. Um, so I, I'm comfortable doing that. I like doing it. I only had one though that I feel, I shook almost all of them off. The one I caught was like two pounds. Um, I had one bite that I felt like was pretty good though. Um, but I kept going and there's only one little area I could get bites in. So I said, you know what? I'm getting out of there. The water's still warming up, even though it's still kind of, it's like kind of cold today. There's areas that the sun's beating down on. It's still warming up. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to run some of this uh, backwater stuff, the bigger backwaters. Um, with like a swim jig chatterbait and see if I can just go get you know some two two and a half pound bites um, that I may end up needing for the tournament so that's what we're doing kind of give you all a look at what we're it's just kind of a backwater got some pads and pads and stuff so gonna get to it <clears throat> well folks that is it for me finish done with practice Today, I ended up catching one more two pounder that y'all didn't see. I guess y'all didn't see a lot of fish catches today because um, I shook all those off this morning. I moved around, came up here fishing some shallow stuff that I talked about. Finally picked up one on a swim jig. <clears throat> and uh, that was pretty much it, to be honest with you. I mean, it's just, it's just tough. I don't know what the tournament's gonna hold. I mean, if my offshore fish don't bite, I don't really know what I'm gonna do I guess just go find some fish but it is what it is it's gonna get colder every day <laughs> nothing really I can do but uh, just hunker down in the area I practiced in and got a few bites and hopefully they don't move too far and I can catch enough just to salvage some points I mean if things go right I might catch them good but I kind of will be in survival mode is the way it's looking right now but anyways if y'all enjoyed this video please subscribe give me a thumbs up like tell your friends and be on the lookout for the tournament video should be coming here soon thank you guys for watching appreciate all your time subscribe come on please subscribe down there talk to y'all later